It is May 29th, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. If you're a poor person from a third world country, I have an incredible opportunity for you. You look into this orb so I can harvest immutable biometric data from your eye holes. It doesn't hurt, I promise. In exchange, I give you some of this shiny cryptocurrency that some rich dudes in San Francisco created out of thin air with zero economic effort. It's called WorldCoin, and its goal is to scan a billion eyeballs over the next few years to create a global identity platform and payment network. And no, this isn't the plot of a Black Mirror episode. It's a real project that just raised $115 million and already has over a million users. It's co-founded by the benevolent AI king Sam Altman and is backed by a bunch of VCs like Andreessen Horowitz, which is behind many other crypto projects like Alchemy, Coinbase, and Solana. And even Sam Bankman-Fried is an early investor. In fact, you may have already seen people wearing these WorldCoin t-shirts walking around your village putting these weird balls in people's faces. These are your friendly WorldCoin operators, and every time they scan an eyeball, they get some crypto. It's an ingenious business model. It has all the same Ponzi-nomics of your favorite cryptocurrencies, but is hacking humans to do the actual physical labor of collecting collecting and processing biometric data. The way it works is it takes a bunch of images of your iris, which like a fingerprint is unique to every human, which is then used to verify your personhood so you can start using WorldCoin for everyday transactions. The actual images and biometric data itself is deleted from the orb, so there's no reason to worry about your privacy. The technology is actually quite transparent. They explain in great detail how the orb is manufactured and some of the source code is available on GitHub. Ultimately, it's just a machine that can establish proof of personhood. But why would we need a proof of personhood protocol? Well, the main reason is the rise of artificial intelligence and the need to differentiate between man and machine. When it comes to financial systems, it can protect against Sybil attacks, which is named after a book about a lady with multiple personality disorder, where one person assumes the identity of multiple accounts to game the system. That can be a problem in crypto, but is not really an issue in traditional banking. The bigger problem is that AI tools like deepfakes and voice cloning can create digital clones of people from their internet presence. And that's why it's more important than ever that the people who run these AI companies provide us with a global digital passport to keep us safe from these AI monstrosities that they created. It's not about money, it's all about making the world a better place. The WorldCoin Foundation is the initial steward of the protocol, but is intended to become a public open source network owned by everybody, and it could potentially evolve into a global universal basic income, which we're definitely going to need after GPT-5 takes all our jobs for good. That sounds awesome, and I can't wait to just hang out all day and play video games, but WorldCoin has a long uphill battle ahead of itself. The MIT Technology Review released a scathing article last year that alleged deceptive marketing practices among a variety of other issues, and then you already have a black market emerging in China for iris data to exploit the world coin system. The biggest issue, though, is that people are resistant to look into the orb. The orb is your friend. You must look into the orb. What's funny, though, is that most of us have already given up all of our facial biometric data to companies like Apple, Meta, and TikTok in a far less transparent way. After the orb verifies that you're a human, your identity is added to a list of verified humans, then the world coin app generates a zero-knowledge proof to prove your identity without revealing any of your secret information. In theory, you could be totally anonymous on WorldCoin, but many are skeptical and think it's just laying the groundwork for a world currency that will be implemented by the upcoming One World Government after the alien invasion of 2027, at which point they'll no longer scan our eyeballs, but instead use far more reliable alien probes. Oh my god, I just cracked the code. You can't spell probe without orb. I could be wrong here, but just to be safe, I'm going to stick with Monero for all my anonymous crypto needs. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.